What up YouTube, welcome back to the Joe McFoe Show. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about the pros and cons of going to art school. Now, I'm gonna start with the cons list because I think it's easier to just get the bad news out of the way first, and then we can go and end the video with some of the pros of going to art school and just end things on a positive note because I like being happy. Being happy is a good thing. So the first con about going to art school that a lot of people already know is it's expensive. It's a lot of money to go in the art school route and attend classes at a university. I don't know why it's as expensive as it is, but it's honestly, it's ridiculous. And unfortunately, a lot of the people who want to do a four-year college cannot afford a four-year college at an art school specifically. And you'll have to weigh the costs and analysis of that because I don't know everyone's individual financial situation. I don't know if you're able to qualify for scholarships or grants or whatever the case is. Realistically, it's a challenge for a lot of people. And you don't need a degree in art school to become an artist, by the way. I talked about that in one of my previous videos, but that's something that's really gonna have to, you're gonna have to figure out because not only are you paying for the tuition of the school, but you're talking about room and board, you're talking about food, you're talking about art supplies and materials. And actually I remember in my first day of oil painting in my sophomore year in college, I spent $400 on the very first day of my oil painting class. And that was just for the paints. That wasn't including the brushes or the canvases or anything like that. And so when you pile all those things up, it could become really insurmountable. And a lot of people, unfortunately, they leave art school and either don't become artists or don't always become successful artists. And they get stressed out by the mounting debt that they accrued when they were just out of their teenage years. Another con about art school is a lot of these schools don't advertise what they're really giving you. So you want to make sure you research those schools heavily. Look at the alumni, look at who's currently there and the work they're producing. Look at your teachers who are going to be leading these classes, because ultimately, as much as we all like the fancy logos on the sweatshirts and walking around saying, I went to such and such school, really, it's the teachers who make the classes. And if you don't appreciate the teacher's work and they're training you, then you might want to be aware that you might not come out of that class with the skills that you desire. This also comes down to a lot of high schoolers really not knowing what they want. There's plenty of people who walk into art school at 18 years old and they don't know what they want to be. And I remember my freshman year of art school, how we had this two day presentation of all the majors that were offered at the school at RISD. And there were so many people who would say, you know, I'm between learning ceramics and glass blowing. I'm not really sure. And then after that video or that presentation, then they would make a decision. Uh, me personally, I was in between film animation video and illustration. And then I ended up choosing illustration because I felt like that lined up more with what I personally wanted. You have to know what you want and you have to be able to research these schools so you can make the best choice for you. Now, one of the other cons is a lot of students don't end up receiving the education that they want. They want to be at a level 10 and they come out of school at a level four. And I think a lot of it does end up falling on the teachers and the classes that they offer. Sometimes school will offer classes based on a time slot. And so they'll send everyone a random email and they say, your time slot is at 4.15, yours is at 4.30. And depending on where you are in the time slot, you get to pick your classes that way. Unfortunately, that means your whole four-year education is based off of something you can't even control, which is really, really frustrating because there's some students who end up going all these years in class, but they got terrible time slots before and they didn't get the education that they wanted. Some other schools are able to accommodate and say, hey, if you want to take this class, you got it. No problem. So it just depends on the school you're going to. But that's going to be a question that I think you should ask your advisors or people who represent the school, because that's gonna be a big deal in the long run. Sometimes you also just don't gel well with your teachers and your professors. If there's a project that you're working on and you wanna do things one way and your teacher sees it another way, sometimes it can be a battle in the classroom and sometimes you just won't work well with that professor. That's happened to me multiple times. And even though we were always cordial, there was always a bit of friction in our relationship as a teacher and student because I didn't see things eye to eye with them. And sometimes it's actually, you know, the student's fault because maybe the teacher is trying to share something that's actually valuable and the student is just rejecting it. But there are times where teachers kind of get in their own way and their own opinions are so strong that they tend to supersede our own. And you end up producing work that you don't even like at the end of the day. And that can be very frustrating in and of itself. Also, some of these schools have classes that are so large that you won't even get an in-depth critique there are some classes I had in school, I won't say which classes, but it was an eight hour session 
by the way, that's another thing. The classes are about eight hours long in most art schools and not just two and three hours <laughs> like a normal liberal art school. So you're sitting for eight hours and sometimes you just critique the entire time because the class has got 20 to 25 students in there. And that can be a challenge too because it's teachers trying to get through every single person. And then sometimes that leaves very little room for teaching and one-on-one -on -one attention. And so if you're struggling as a student and that's what you're dealing with, that's gonna be really hard. And sometimes you end up having to find other sources of education where you can learn that. And I recommend that anyway, whether it be books or videos online like YouTube or something like that. One of the other cons, this isn't specifically to art school, this is just artists and people in general, but it's gonna be much easier to compare yourself to your other classmates. Comparison ultimately is the thief of joy. And when you're looking at a classmate who is right next to you in your studio space or in your class or whatever and you see this phenomenal work that you're just like why don't you have a job already why are you even here i've actually had that thought to myself and said no my classmates have too we're just like you're just so good what do you need this what do you need the degree for i don't get it that can become very discouraging and so in order to combat that i would actually say be friends with them and learn from them because the nicer you are to people the better it's going to be for you just in general in life but that can become very discouraging when you're surrounded by people who are constantly better than you and if you don't have a thick skin then that can that can weigh on you but don't forget guys as an artist, you are unique and you always have something to bring to the table that no one else does. Even if someone has similar life experiences as you, even if they're the same age as you or the same race or gender or cultural background or whatever you wanna throw, they're going to have a different perspective from you. So don't be afraid to showcase your originality in those moments. So I know that's the depressing list. I went through all the cons. Now let's talk about some of the really good things that I enjoyed about art school. One of the things is that it provides structure. A lot of artists tend to not be the most structured people. There's this idea that a lot of artists are messy and that they tend to be unorganized and all these things. And sometimes that can be very, very true. I've seen desks just filled with papers everywhere, pencils all on the floor and, and cracks of the chair and then the couch and you, don't, you can't find anything. That's part of it. That's just part of the artist's life sometimes. So what a school will do is they'll say, okay, this week we're focusing on this particular assignment and we're gonna learn all the things from the lecture. And then next week we're going to move on from that and we're going to step it up a, a notch. And then the next week they'll do the same thing, they'll step it up a notch. And by the end of the 10, 13, 15 week semester, you will hopefully have gained the skills to be able to produce the work that the class advertised, whether that's perspective, character design, painting, whatever the case may be. And sometimes that can be really good for artists, especially when you just don't know where to start. Art in and of itself is a really big topic. And in order to focus on the things that we want, we have to be able to narrow it down and say, okay, what skills do I need to learn in order to achieve this result? And a school will provide those things for you. Hopefully. Something else about art schools, is that you are forced to be in critique and you will develop a thick skin. If you go into an art school very sensitive about your work, which most artists are. Matter of fact, there's a line by Erica Badu in one of her songs and she says, Now keep in mind that I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my And that is really, really true in most cases. I myself was very sensitive about my work and it was hard for me to share my work or talk about it in a setting and then have people tell me what was wrong with it on top of it, especially when I came from a school where I was one of the best artists in my entire grade. And that's actually the case for most of the students that you have. You are surrounded by people who were the best artists in their school. And now you're all competing <laughs> in this place. And some of these people, some of these students or classmates you're gonna have are going to have some really solid feedback for you in order to improve. And if you are very sensitive about that stuff, you're going to learn how to get a thick skin real quick really, really quick. Another great thing about art schools is that it provides networking opportunities and communities, whether that be your classmates, whether that be your teachers, whether it be the alumni association or all of the above. Clubs as well are included in this and you can become friends with your future coworkers and colleagues. I mean, think about it. If someone goes to work in the animation industry and they and someone comes to you, let's say a director or hiring manager comes to you and says, hey, I just got a resume and a portfolio from this artist who you happen to go to school with, what are they like? And if you guys are buddies, then 
a lot of times they'll say, oh yeah, this person's really cool. We went to school together. We had a great time. This person will be an asset on your team. Then that's gonna help you get work. And so building that connection, building all those relationships and that those circles are really going to help you improve your chances of getting a job in the long run. Quite honestly, if there's anything I know about Hollywood, it's more about who you know. People will often hire their friends and the people that they're close to. So you wanna to get to be around the coolest people and keep those friendships really close because a lot of your classmates are going to be in those positions where they're higher up or they have a opportunity or position to be able to hire other people or give influence to people who can hire you. The other really good thing about art school it will always weed out the lazy people and the lazy students. When you're spending that much money in a class, especially people who don't have the money to spare and they just say, this is all I got and I need to be in this class because I'm very serious about my education, that puts a different fire under your butt than someone who's just there just because they feel like it. So over the course of a year or two, I noticed that a lot of people either switched majors or some cases even dropped out of the school doesn't always mean that just because they dropped out that they were lazy, but it meant that they realized that this was not for them. This was not the path for them. So if you can find a crew of people who stick with it the entire way, chances are you're going to be successful at some point. And the reason it kicks out some of the lazy students almost naturally is because there's a lot of myths out there that non-artists don't really recognize or people who don't want to do this as a full-time career. A lot of people think, oh, art isn't that hard. Or they'll say, art doesn't take that long. I spent 20 minutes on this. Another thing about when you're at art school and you have really good teachers, they're gonna call out your lazy habits. Maybe you're drawing incorrectly. Maybe the way you hold a pencil is weird. Maybe you're seeing things that aren't really there or you're not seeing things that are supposed to be there. When you have a teacher, when you have peers to call you out on those things, then that's gonna really help you improve because maybe you had no idea that there was a such thing as an occlusion shadow, or maybe you had no idea that people have pectoral muscles. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. But as soon as someone points it out, then you can apply that because it can be very hard to learn on your own. And most people are not able to do that as successfully. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you wanna support The Joe McFoe Show, check out my Patreon. And please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and all that cool stuff. And I will see you all next time. Peace.